Bob Henson and Jerry Toll both worked as Christian missionaries. Bob Henson was a Christian brother, Jerry Toll was a Jesuit, and that formed their experience and it formed the dignity that they saw in all people. Bob Henson and Jerry Toll were serving directly in the missions in Latin America. When they returned, they were discerning with each other what did they find most valuable about their experiences. And their answer was the personal relationships, the people, the people that they met there. Bob's experience in Colombia and in Guatemala of working with families, of going there thinking he was going to be solving problems and bringing solutions, but really having a conversion type experience there of realizing that a lot of the answers were already there. He uh, was teaching at a very fine school. Uh, but on the weekends, he would venture outside the school grounds uh, into the neighborhoods. And he told me how transformed he was. He really made a, a fundamental transition from being a teacher to being a student. I think we could say that, that, that it was a, a vocation, a calling for me, for me personally, to, uh, to be drawn to to that part of the world. CFCA was founded in the early 1980s. That was a time of much suffering in Latin America. It was a time where people were losing their lives for helping the poor. And in the middle of this violence, they decided in November of 1981 to start CFCA. Imagine the courage that it took for them to insert themselves back into the environment that they had left in order to be able to help the people who were still there who had no choice about leaving. When the two of us got together, we had just a, a tremendous synergy because uh, Jerry was Jesuit trained, very bright, very cerebral. So in the very early days of the foundation, we had a we had a perfect combination of the, of the two of us because we had this Bob who was the dreamer, the poet, the songwriter, uh, the adventurer coming along with the guy who would said, yeah, but sit down and let's, let's get this on the computer. So I didn't meet Jerry until they had decided that they would try to start an organization of their own. And right away, I thought Jerry knew everything anybody ever knew of, needed to know about the missions. He was so kind and uh, knowledgeable, made everybody feel very important. So Bob and Jerry were the missionary aspect of it. They brought the kids, the elders, into the, into the program of CFC, Christian Foundation for Children. Bud and Jim brought those other aspects to the program, part of the organizational aspects and the spirit of it. So they were already familiar with what sponsorship was, so they went into the mechanics of how do you make this relationship happen. I can remember sitting down in Bob's basement and deciding or trying to decide what, uh, what could we do about it. He was a great advocate for it. He talked to everybody about it. He was kind of the older brother to Bob and Jim. So that was pretty much his role. He probably had, um, had the business background that could give them some, some advice on when they were starting out. Jim, his, uh, one of his biggest contributions to the organization was connecting the, the organization to the Catholic Church in terms of a weekend appeals. He had that, that brilliant idea that really helped the organization grow exponentially and that wouldn't have been possible without that contribution. Uh, Nadine was sort of, it was a maternal presence and I think brought a lot of 
common sense to the organization. A lot of the stuff that we talk about can get a little lost up in the air, the, the philosophy and the values of the organization, and she had this real knack for bringing it back down to, it's, it's, in a way it's not that hard, we're, we're trying to help people who really deserve the help. We were a family of 12 children, and mo mother was, was uh, a hard worker, and even though we had a big family, she uh, was always doing something for a family needed maybe more help than we did. And I have met people uh, in the last few years that reminded me of my mother giving them clothing and shoes when she had a house full of kids of her own, but she knew this other person needed them worse than we did. And she also provided a wonderful example to all of us of service. She was here, although she was a board member and later an emeritus board member and a founder, all these roles, she took on the humble role of volunteer on a daily basis and really showed us, I think, what it means to be a servant of something that's bigger than you. I think the people in the field are the ones that, that uh, need a lot of credit. Running an office is just running an office. Bob mentioned this afternoon the number of people that CFC employ is a godsend to uh, to them and even like building that uh, retreat house in uh, in Guatemala. The laborers were all from down there. That gave them a good livelihood. So um, I really think the success is the dedicated people and the fact that we have, we have um, a good reputation. She often in the early days had them all over at her house when they'd have board meetings or they had out of town people from overseas coming in town she hosted them. So she started a lot of those early days of, of just gathering together, talking about it. They had the fundamental idea of the relationship between people overseas and people here. I had the great experience in Guatemala of working with um, the Marino fathers and brothers and sisters. And uh, one of the things that, that I learned from, from these great people was that enablement was important. They had uh, also the, 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 the philosophy that they did not want to dominate these communities from, from North America. From the beginning, they decided that they would not um, uh, they would collect the money, but they would let the people in the projects decide the best use for that money. That we foreigners don't need to dominate. We don't need to always be in control. That they are the focus, they are the future. And that's, I think, the, the seed that CFCA and then later Unbound grew from was this sense that we are following the families rather than uh, leading or instructing. Oftentimes education, the opportunity to go to school is a major factor. Uh, it's not just a feeding operation or it's much stronger. A personal recognition and relationship between the sponsor and the child or, or the old person. One of the pieces that I noticed right away with the founders is that they weren't scared to argue about what ought to be, what ought to happen next, but then they knew how to keep that team together and to make it work. Uh, they were very comfortable in one another's presence. They knew how to express themselves well and they knew how to take the next step in what had to be done. The founders had an incredible zeal they were facing amazing obstacles. Uh, it was not at all clear that this was going to be successful for many of those early years. They guided us all to, to the families. The families are Bob's original source of inspiration and knowledge. And I believe that we continue to keep that in the forefront of our minds, that we have a, a uh, a commitment to continue to learn from the very communities we claim to serve. I believe that fundamental orientation, that fundamental belief in people is 
the heartbeat of this organization. From the beginning, they focused on the relationship is at the center of our program, respectful relationships in particular. They believed in the dignity of all people. The sponsors are literally taken into these families. It is unbelievable. You go into a, a, a what you, we might consider a shack, and on the wall are the, are the pictures of the sponsors from the states that they've sent down of their own family. And that's the, that's sometimes the, the, uh, the prettiest thing or the, the only thing in color there uh, on the wall. So I would say that the, what the sponsors are receiving, and they'll be the first ones to tell you, is uh, love. Matter of fact, sometimes the, the outpouring of gratitude is so great that the sponsors get on overload. And at the end of the day, they say, Bob, I can't take it anymore. I'm embarrassed, I just can't take it anymore. And I say, relax. I say, these people must thank. It's in their blood. It's in their creation. They must thank. And they're gonna thank you over and over and over again. And you represent not just you, you represent all the sponsors, all the program, all this, this the body of the sponsorship program that means education and health and some housing, it represents more than just you.